Hey everybody, it's Sajad. If you're looking for a comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial covering exactly how to list on Amazon in 2021, then you're definitely in the right place. I'm about to reveal some ways to make the process easier in terms of selecting categories, for example, getting your barcodes and making your new Amazon FBA listing look good with some great HTML hacks. There's gonna be no waffle in this video, so you don't have to spend hours and hours trying to work this out for yourself. So let's get onto Amazon Seller Central and get started. Okay, so for the first step of the process, you will need an Amazon Seller Central account and login. And when you log in, it will look something like this. When you scroll to the left and hover over catalog, you should see an option that add products. And that brings you to this page. Now, if you're looking to sell your own product, what's known as a private label product, so it's your own listing, what you need to click here is, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. So then it asks you to select a product category. So you need to scroll through here. Another way you can do this is you can actually do a search. So you see here at the bottom of the page, you can actually search for a category. So let's say I'm trying to sell some sort of exercise band and I click on search. It gives you an idea of what the category might be. So here's sports and outdoors, fitness, then accessories, then exercise bands. And then if that's the one I want, I just click on select category. The other way you can do this is you can go onto Amazon and just type into the top bar a product similar to one you're looking to sell. So for example, exercise bands. And you can actually see here what category your competitors are selling in. The other way is you can actually look at the top left here in departments. And this will give you a general idea of the different departments in which your products are sold or similar products. So you can see here the main ones, exercise and fitness accessories. People are also selling this type of product in health, household and baby care, for example. You want to pick the category that you think is most relevant here, but again, don't lose sleep over this step. So let's say we've done that now, so let's click on select category. Now Amazon asks you to create your listing. You can see there the category variant. So sports and outdoors, fitness, accessories, exercise bands. And the first thing you'll see here at the top is four different tabs. Now to add more detail, you can click here on advanced view and you'll see it now opens up to eight different tabs. So you can actually add dimensions of your product, keywords, etc. But let's just do the simple view for now. The absolute basic requirements you need to create a listing. And note, once you've created a listing, you can edit the listing. I'll show you how to do that after, so you can add to it in future as well. By the way, I have a free step-by-step -step guide summary covering how to list your product successfully. It's the first link in the description below and you will see it also in the top comment. I remember when I first started selling on Amazon, Amazon Seller Central was completely alien to me. So just be patient. Eventually, it will all become more familiar and easier for you to use. So the main things we'll need here are first a barcode, that's for the product ID, an item name, manufacturer brand name, and then we're going to be adding our images, our price, our seller SKU, which is our own code for our product, a description. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute and variations. So let's discuss that in turn. Now, first thing we're going to talk about, we'll come to barcodes in a minute. We're gonna talk about the item name. Here, it's very simple. What I tend to do is look at the competitors, do some keyword research, and I'll cover that in a separate tutorial. But basically, you want to enter important keywords here in your title. So for exercise bands, if you have a look here, you'll see what these companies have done. Let's click on one here, for example, this one. What they've done is they've added some important keywords here in the title. For example, you can see workout bands, resistance, exercise bands, resistance loops, and different areas of the body which are used for this type of product. So these are all important keywords that people are actually searching for. That's why they're important in the title. So let's go ahead and add ours. I like to add the most frequently searched for keywords right at the beginning. Now it depends on your marketplace, but sometimes Amazon may force you to put your own kind of uh, brand name here at the beginning, but that's not necessary. You can actually put at the end uh, by uh, such and such company. You can actually add that at the end of the listing. So that it depends on your marketplace, but somewhere you should add your brand name as well. But basically the most important keywords at the beginning, so exercise bands, you can put for training, loops, and any other important keywords there. You can even add things like high quality, for example, if you wanted any kind of small catchphrase that makes your product stand out, you can choose to do that there. Now in terms of manufacturer, the supplier who you're getting your product from, you can add that name here if you wish, or you can just add your own company name. So let's say our company is called Joe Vlogs. 
you can add that here and the brand name you can keep that the same as well it doesn't really matter for now or you can make it something different if you're creating an amazon company which covers lots of different types of products different niches here you can put joe blocks exercise and that will be a kind of a sub brand of the original manufacturer or company note your brand name here or the manufacturer does not need to match your llc or your limited company that you use to set up your amazon seller account it can be completely different by the way if you're finding this video useful please click the like button and comment below i'd be more than happy to do more step-by-step -step tutorials for you about selling on amazon so just let me know which other topics you find challenging at the moment. If you subscribe and hit the bell icon, then you will be able to see my new videos in your YouTube home screen when I upload them. Now also, you do not need to have a trademark to do this. However, one thing to note here, when we go down to the description, which is this section here, you'll see they've added some pictures. Now you can't do that as a new seller. You need to get a trademark first and become brand registered. So at the moment, you'll only be able to add text and that's completely fine. That's something you can add later. To be honest, most people don't tend to actually read the description anyway on Amazon listings nowadays because most people purchase from mobile. So they're actually looking at the pictures and the text on the pictures more. And sometimes these product features here, which are more important. So you can absolutely add these, which we'll do in just a minute. So let me just show you that very quickly, by the way, on a separate page. So you can see, you, you don't see it at the top here if you click on advanced view and then description the product description that's the long one where some people add images the key product features are the ones we see here at the top this one here where you add four or five bullet points that's what we can add here in key product features and we'll come back to that one so we've added a manufacturer we've added a brand name so the next thing before barcode let's talk about variations now i'm not going to talk about that in this particular video but let's say you had exercise bands and you had two or three different types for example different colors different sizes different weights for example you can actually create variations here on the same listing. So let me show you an example. So you see the same listing we were looking at, they've got a one set of colors here and another set of colors here. So these are two variations on the same listing. Now, I'm not gonna make this video too complicated, but this section is where you would add a variation. Now, if you don't have any variations, leave this completely blank. So let's talk now about price and offer. So you can add your price here. So let's say we're going to sell it for the same price for 14.99s. Because mine is a UK seller account, it shows in British pounds, which is fine. And condition here should be new. Unless you're actually selling used goods here on Amazon or stuff you have in your garage. But if you're creating your own private label listing, it has to be new here. And then this section here, fulfillment channel, this is important. So if you actually want Amazon to fulfill the order for you, what that means is you send all of your items, either directly from the supplier or yourself, you send it to an Amazon fulfillment center, say 100 units or 200 units, and you want Amazon to send it out to the customer each time a new order comes in, then you'll click on fulfilled by Amazon, FBA. So this bottom one, so that's that done. Here you can add seller SKU, and if you hover over it, it says it's a unique identifier. Now this is your own Amazon seller code. And again, it's something that's not important. You can make it whatever you wish. So I tend to put here the name of the account. For example, if this company was Joe Blogs, I just put JB001 so I can keep track. And on a separate spreadsheet, I know which item is related to which seller SKU, which is my own code. So that's that done. Let's talk briefly about images. So images here, you can see you just click on the upload button and then you can add an image. So when we click on this button, I have a file already called images. I've saved that to my desktop and I have three images I wanted to add. So what you can do here is just click on one of the images and click enter and then it adds that image and you can do the same for the other two. And I've just taken these images directly actually from the listing we saw. So where will you get your images from? Well, many different ways. You can create your own images. You can do that professionally. You can do that with a simple iPhone, to be honest with you. Nowadays, there's many different types of software that helps remove the background and helps improve listing quality and helps you add other features that help you sell your product. The other way you can do it is get, get it directly from your supplier. You can ask them to send you professional images. A lot of the suppliers now have them for their main products. Now, the other important thing to note, the first image here has to be a clear white background so you have to get the background removed very important otherwise amazon will suppress your listing because that because that's not allowed for the additional images it can be whatever you want anything goes really but for the first main image has to be a clear white background i'm just going to show you an example of that i'm here back on the first page for exercise band and you can see all the pictures have a clear 
white background very very important and a lot of them you see their bundles so they're showing showcasing all of their products on that primary image but you'll see here no text or any other things mentioned so you can see here we've completed that and then the red tick mark is on vital info because we haven't added our barcode yet and this is important so when you create your listing Amazon will uh, create an ASIN number for you but before you do that you need to have it registered with a particular barcode so here if you click on EAN or UPC these tend to be the two most common so if you click on EAN number here you can actually get one you can purchase a barcode which you can then add here and this barcode is uniquely for you now the website I recommend is GS1 and this is the UK site here but it's a little bit more expensive so if you're just testing Amazon out for the first time and you just want to try one product see how it goes the other one I've used before and I recommend is barcodes mania here it's a lot cheaper and you can see here just to buy one barcode is five dollars so you click on that click on the uh, buy button proceed to checkout and then you register and then you just follow the steps and then they send you that barcode in a file and you copy and paste that here as an EAN barcode the other way is with GS1 you click on apply for barcodes and then you start filling in the next step so I won't talk about that here but basically the minimum you can usually get with GS1 is a thousand and for a thousand they don't charge you anything but rather they charge you a yearly fee which can be around 140 pounds which is about I think 170 180 dollars a year and you pay that on a yearly basis but for that you get up to a thousand barcodes now these are uh, very legitimate because these are brand new barcodes that have never been used before the problem with barcodes mania and some other sites like for example this is another random one getbarcode.co.uk these are all absolutely fine and to be honest I've recommended this before and I've used it I've not had any issues however you have to remember with these other websites some of these barcodes they may have been used before for a product that's not selling anymore so they tend to be recycled which is fine but the problem with that is sometimes in the uh, on Amazon things get confusing because Amazon might link that with a product that was sold on Amazon like 15 years ago and it was some completely unrelated Amazon item but it gets a little bit confused sometimes so to prevent that if you want to do this professionally you've got a decent budget I would highly recommend go by the GS1 route at the beginning rather than trying to get other barcodes from other companies although they will still work they're just not as reliable and you are taking slightly more risk I would say just showing you here an example of what it might look like when they send you the barcode so you just take one of them copy it and then you can add it to Amazon Seller Central and then what I tend to do here is I tend to save here the actual product uh, and my seller SKU here as well so I can add that stuff here so I, I keep track myself of which barcodes are used for which product. So to actually add a GS1 barcode, once you've created an account, you just click on a number type here because we want to go to a number bank. So click on number type GTIN13. So these are the EAN numbers for Amazon and click on your company prefix and then click on go to my number bank. Here you just scroll down and you click on use next number and then you can add your details here and try and make these match exactly what you put in the description because Amazon will quickly cross-reference this so put here Joe blogs Joe blogs description does not matter web link doesn't matter MPN SKU the SKU you can add here JB001 and you can put MPN NA if you want to this is just the manufacturer part number if you have a number or you want to make one up you can put that on here as well again does not matter and then you click on save and next to your product you should see a green status as long as you filled every section put NA not applicable if you just don't want to fill any particular section in that should come up as green and then that's the number you're using in Amazon so for the GS1 that's where the number will go in here so once I've done all that I can actually click save and finish at the bottom but the other thing I like to do and remember you can do this later you can edit the listing later but if you click on advanced view here is if I have it ready I like to add the key features and description and I would recommend pre-preparing this in say a Word document Google Drive document something like that so you can just copy and paste it so it's a lot easier for you to do. The other thing to know here is it's HTML, which is what Amazon want in here. So if you wanted to add bold text or add spaces between different lines, you can't actually do that. So let's say if this was the text you wanted and you just copy and paste that into the product description, it won't appear like that here with the lines in between bold text, um, uh, italics, etc. It'll all just be kind of squished together with no extra features. So to do that, what you do is you take a text 
onto any HTML converter, just type into Google Word to HTML convert. And what I'm using here, for example, is HTML-online.com. You put the text in here, and then what it does is it converts it for you. You just click on the clean button as well, and then you copy and paste that source code into here. So delete all of this and just copy and paste it directly into here. So now my text will appear with breaks between the lines, bold text where I want it to appear as bold, etc. And key features you can add here. And remember the key features are this section here, the bullet points, which again, you can add emojis to and other things if you want to. And you would actually add that here. So literally to add an emoji, just go to any website like getemoji.com and just copy and paste that emoji directly into here and that should work. And then click on add more to add more lines. Usually you're only allowed, depending on your marketplace, around five or six product feature lines. So that's it, we're pretty much ready to save this listing. The other thing to add on advanced view here, there's a couple of other things you can do. One is offer, you can actually add a sales price. So if you remember, I set the price at $14.99, that was showing here. Now I've doubled that to 30 and I've had a sale price instead of $14.99. Just add a date here so you can just click on that select a date end date doesn't matter just make it into the distant future like a month or six months into the future i recommend when you're new selling on amazon you actually do promotions like this it helps you launch the other thing i recommend if you scroll down here on the offer page is max order quantity always add this five or ten or twenty the reason for that is if you're doing giveaways it just prevents one person buying your whole 200 300 units of your product at a massive discount so to prevent that, always set a max order quantity. It's very rare a uh, normal customer would buy 50 sets of your exercise bands unless they're a big gym or something like that. But then again, they'll only do that once you've been selling for a while anyway and you've got reviews. Otherwise, you don't need to mess about with anything else and that's your listing done. So now we can actually go ahead and save this listing. If you want to here, you can edit later, but in more details, you can add your shipping weight here and the actual size and dimensions of your product. You can actually add it in this section here if you want to. Okay, so we're finally done. So we just need to scroll down to the bottom. All, most of this stuff is gonna be left blank to be honest with you and then just click on save and finish. So let's click on save and finish now. Now in terms of barcode options, once you've saved that, it might actually ask you, uh, do you wanna use your manufacturer barcode to so the original EAN, which you can use or use or print Amazon's barcodes, the FNSKUs, which you can use as well. Most of the time, I would just use Amazon's barcodes. So you just click on Amazon barcode here, click save and continue. So that's it for this one. I'll see you all again very soon.